To open a topic in the built-in XML editor, just click the topic in the Content Manager. You'll initially have a title and an empty paragraph. Just hit Enter to create another paragraph if you need one. If you don't need it, you can just delete it. But let's add something else instead. Use Alt-Enter to get to the Element Context menu. Start typing to narrow down the list of elements to find the one you need. The Element Context menu has all the available elements. However, many of the most common elements are also conveniently available in the toolbar and as keyboard shortcuts. So let's use the toolbar to add a list. Since this is an instruction, we'll use the Procedure element. If you want any additional content in the step, just place the cursor after the paragraph but still inside the step. You can add full figures to include captions and more, but in this case we'll just choose a plain image. Just like with a paragraph, you can just hit Enter to create new steps. If you want a nested list, in this case called Substeps, you can add it with the Element Context menu, of course. But since we already have the steps we want to turn into substeps, just indent them. This creates the substeps element automatically. Poligo has elements for pretty much anything you'd ever need. How about a code snippet for this step? There are several elements for this, like program listing. Let's check how it comes out in a quick preview. The image looks a little big. Use the Attributes panel in the sidebar to set it to anything you want. That looks better. We've just scratched the surface with some of the basics. Check out the online help for the full details.